It's about uh, uh, it's 9 o'clock. I just had a conversation with the, a rep of the Toronto Star. I'm doing this blog for John Crook, Crookshank, and hopefully I'm pronouncing it correctly. I'm probably not. I get everybody's name wrong anyway. But, John, I apologize if I'm saying your name wrong. This is a blog to my new uh, best friend, John Crookshank, the, the publisher of the Toronto Star. That we met a while ago at one of the parties at the ROM, whatever it is. I'm David Bronstein. You might know me from late night TV. I, my company produces infomercials and reality shows. I'm the guy, if you watch late night TV, I'm the guy in the nightclub with the girls that says, go to the phone, call this number, what are you looking at me for? But on TV, my hair is combed. My hair is combed. I, I look like a person. Uh, I'm shaving. I'm wearing a suit. I look like a mensch. Today, I look like a schmuck because I just got up, but I had to do this blog. I got to tell you what's going on. As an entrepreneur, I feel a certain obligation to other entrepreneurs and company owners and presidents and CEOs of other businesses. Obligation. What the hell do I care? I feel a certain obligation. When crazy things happen in, in business with your business, that you have no idea. Because the big shots, the CEOs, the, the board of directors, they're sitting in the White Towers and they have no idea what's going on in the trenches with the employees. And that's why companies go bankrupt and they go under and, and because they, they have no idea. It's, why can't we make money? It's because what's going on. And here's what just what happened. I was a, and, and the girl I just spoke to, I just forgot her name and talking to you now, but hopefully you can figure it out. I was a subscri subscriber, is that the word? Uh, uh, to the Toronto Star. I had the Toronto Star. I was getting Star. I was getting it every day, every week, every month. Toronto Star, Toronto Star, Toronto Star. Now, when they would call me with these crazy promotions, they would give me 50% off, wonderful, fantastic. And then months would go by, and I was getting billed on my credit card a much higher amount than I remember what I was supposed to be billed. And then I would call the Toronto Star, and they'd say, yeah, well, your promotion was over, so we just start billing you at the regular rate. And I would say, why wouldn't you call and tell me? Why wouldn't you call and say, you know, Dave, your promotion's over. What do you want to do now? Why would you keep billing me at the regular rate when I didn't sign up for the regular rate? That wasn't a deal that I wanted the regular rate. So if the promotion rate was finished, you just stop the newspaper. Or you call me and say, Dave, it's ending. What do you want to do now? You don't just bill me the regular rate. This occurred many times. I always would cancel the paper. And then I'd get emails. Oh, we want you back. Please come back. You got to have you. We don't want to lose you. We're going to give you the new rate again. I would say, okay, give me the rate. Well, this happened recently that I got this special rate of, I, it was 50% off, I think, and then this happened again, I canceled it, I, okay, I'll give you 40%, because I wanted the paper, I said, okay, I'll take 40%, I'll take, I'll pay the extra dollar, or whatever it is, and I had the paper for three months, or four months, however long the promotion is, well, I remember this time, before they bill me again, the promotion's almost going to be over, and it was over in November, and I'm doing this blog now in December 2014. So I called, they said, your promotion is over in a couple of days. I think November 17th was my promotion that was going to be over. I said, fantastic. I caught you before you caught me. Before you start billing me at the regular rate, I got you. I was so happy. Happy with that one. But I was thrilled that we're going to bill me at the regular rate. I said, after this promotion finishes, this 40% promotion, don't bill me anymore. I don't want the paper at the regular promotion. Because I knew they would start calling and emailing me. We want you back. We got to have you come back. So what happened? I started getting emails, we want you back, we got to have you come back. But I didn't, I didn't take the time to call or to go online. I just didn't take the time. I got emails, we wanted to do a survey, we got to do a survey, fill out the survey. I didn't fill out the survey either, whatever the emails that I get. And that was it. So I would go to the store, my daily business of producing shows, whatever I do, I would pick up a newspaper. I'd go to the newspaper, I'd go to a hotel, I'd get a free newspaper. I had a meeting at a hotel, I got another free newspaper. So I, I, I didn't take the time. And then I got this in the mail. Now, I got this in the mail, or part of the star. I can't remember whatever it is, this promotion. Can you see it? Here. Jesus Christ. 50% <laughs> off. And it's good, good, good read. Right there, the call with the promotion, good read. I put off. 50% off. I'm going to call. Get the paper back at 50% off. Well, I tried calling, but the offices were closed. When I came home at 9 o'clock at night, whenever I called, I don't know how what, what time they're open until, it was closed. So then I forgot. I forgot. I was carrying around in my pocket. And I forgot. And I forgot the call. So then I bought another paper. What's today's Saturday? Maybe a few days ago, last week, whatever it was. And then I got this. I found this in the paper. And what does it say? It says 50%. Can you see that? 50% off? 50% off. <laughs> I said, look at that. Now I'm going to. It's Saturday morning. I let the dog out. I don't have a Toronto Star. I'm going to call to get 50% off. Fantastic. So I call it at 50% off, and here's where the blog begins. Here's what's supposed to happen. I call the Toronto Star. They say, hello. I said, I'm David Bronstein. I said, what's your phone number? I give it. What's your address? I give it. Oh, it's fantastic. I said, I'm calling about the special promotion. 
I want 50% off, and I have the December deal. That's what I would like. Is this thing still running? <laughs> I want the December deal. And what's supposed to happen? It's oh, Mr. Bronson, we'd love to have you back. We just entered you into the system. We gave you the December deal. The paper's going to start on Monday. It's going to start on Tuesday. We need a couple of days for it to start. Whatever the deal is. I thought that's fantastic. I hang up. I would not be doing this blog. And I'd be taking a shower right now, then going have a bagel, lots of cream cheese. That's what I'd be doing. Instead, I'm doing this blog. Now, why am I doing this blog? Because the conversation that I should be having that should have occurred did not occur. Here's the conversation that just occurred. Hello, I'm David Bronson. Here's my phone number. Here's my address. I like to have promotion. December deal. And the girl said, which I can't remember her name because I'm doing this blog. I should have wrote it down. But you'll know if you call in because everything should have been recorded on my phone number and all that stuff. But hopefully, because every, every, every call that I call of a company or business, we're recording you for quality assurances. What the hell does that mean? What if I said, hey, I'm, rec I'm recording you for quality assurances. You think they say, oh, that's fantastic. Here's the conversation. I'm David Bronson. Here's my address. Here's my phone number. Here's my promotional, whatever it is, uh, promotional uh, deal, whatever it is. And the girl says, oh, Mr. Bronstein, you just finished November 17th. This promotion is for new subscribers that haven't had the paper for three months. So you can't get this promotion, but we can give you another promotion. I said, what's the other promotion? We can give you 30% off. I said, I just came out of a deal for 40% off. Why would I pay more money? For the same thing I just got, I'm, call I'm, I'm no longer a customer of the Toronto Star. If I'm calling because I saw this art, this ad, this promotion, I want this promotion. you got to wait three months by not paying us. Don't pay us for three months, then we'll give you the promotion. <laughs> John, is that what you want? You want customers who, who cancel their subscription for whatever reason. They took the time to call back the Toronto Star. I'll call the Globe now and get a deal. I'll call the Sun now. I'll call the National Post. Who the hell? A paper, the paper, the paper. I'll go read it online, but I just happen to be, I'm a creature of habit. And I'm a creature. I'm a creature of habit. So I just happen to, I don't care about the story. I have no allegiance. I get the New York Times. I have no allegiance to any newspaper. It's a piece of white paper with black print. That's all it is to me. I don't care. But I'm letting you know I was a customer. I canceled my promotion right now. They wanted to bill me 100% rate, whatever. I said, forget it. I see this article. This article is promotion. The customer wants to come back to your newspaper. And your rep that I spoke to, we still rolling. The rep that I spoke to says, can't have you back at this rate. I, I give you 30%. Not, not at this rate. Only new customers at this rate. So you see, I said, I said, if I have a store and I have a promotion, I have a great customer for three months taking advantage of my promotion of Slurpees or, or soda or, or popcorn, whatever I have at my store, the same customer come back and I say, listen, Joe, the promotion's over and, and uh, I can't give you that deal anymore. And he says, okay, and he stops coming back. So I lose the customer. And then I have the promotion again. And people are coming in. New people are coming in for the promotion. Then Joe comes in. Joe says, oh, Dave, you brought the promotion back. That's fantastic. I said, Joe, I can't give it to you. It's only for new people. <laughs> I can't give it. Joe, you have to wait three months. You can take, take, take the promotion at a regular rate, but you can't get the promotion now, Joe. Do you think? I said, Joe, come on. I'm giving it to them. I'm giving you. are here. You're a great customer. I'd love to have you back. Sure. You see how nutty that sounds? And that's what, but no, Joe, you can't come in. They can come in. You can't. Even though I had you for six months, you can't come in. They can come in. You see how nutty. And John, that's why I'm telling you this story because it's so kooky. Because you lost the customer. You, it, me, and, uh, big deal. So I paid 50 cents. How much your paper? And that's another thing. Another blog. I'm not going to talk about it now. One day it's a dollar. The other day it's two dollars. Next day it's three dollars. Who can figure out how much the price is of your the newspaper? So I said, I want to speak to a supervisor. Now here's what should have happened. The rep that I spoke to should have said, okay, hold on. I'll let you talk to the supervisor. That's what should have happened. Here's what happened. I said, I'd like to talk to the supervisor. And what does the rep say? Why do you want to talk to the supervisor? <laughs> That's what she said. I said, I want to talk to the supervisor because I want to go negotiate a better deal. And what does your rep say? You can't get a better deal. This is the deal. There's no reason to talk to the supervisor. I just told you the deal. This is it. I can only give you 30% off. You have to be away from the newspapers for three months. For three months... You can't give the newspaper any money. We're not going to take your money for three months. And then after the three months, then you can call back with a special deal. I said, would you connect me to the supervisor? 
One thing I can do for you. I'll give it to you for 40%. Now the reps are negotiating. I'll give 40%. I'll give it to you all. I said, I don't want it 40%. I want the deal, this deal. Let me talk to the supervisor. Now the supervisor. Hello, I'm the supervisor. Her name could have been Lordia. Look on it. It sounds something like that. Lordia, look up the, the supervisor. I said, David Tame Store, I'm David Bronstein. I'd like to get the newspaper. Uh, here's a special deal. Not only do I have this deal, <laughs> I have this deal. She said, which deal do you want? I said, let me have this deal. She punches it in. Sorry, you've been for three months. You gotta be away for three months. You already had it. You, you finished on November 17th. You can't give it to you. I'll give it to you for 30%. The supervisor wants to give it to me less than the rep. The rep said, all right, 40%. The supervisor said, 30%. I said, you know, Lordy, I think that's her name. Go look. I said, you know, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. I'm a customer. I'm coming back. I, I, you're turning away a customer. I'll just go buy another newspaper. I'll put on the newspaper now. I don't care what paper. I'll get the Philadelphia Bulletin, which went out of business in 1980, 81, whatever the hell it was. 1980, I think. So after talking, sorry, the system says... You can't get it, and that's what the system says the system. I said, well, how's this? I have two other people that live in my house. They're tenants that live in my house. So why don't you give it to them? Sorry, it has nothing to do with the person. It has to do with the house. John, do you hear what the hell's going on here? I have two tenants that live in my house. They'd like to get a Toronto Star. They, they got this promotion. They want to get the Star. Lordia, whoever I spoke to, the, the supervisor on Saturday today, said, sorry, they can't get it. They live in the house. The promotion has to do with the house, not the person. I said, who reads the newspaper? The house or a human being? Who's reading the house? The bricks and the mortar or a human being? Two other people live in here. They, they, their names, they have their own phone numbers. Their names are not on my house. I bought the house. It's my house. I live in the house. I got two people. They like the start. Can't get it. The paper comes to the house. And other people could read the paper. Start with John, will you hear what the hell's going on here? How could I not do this blog? And so cockamaby, this, this, your rep, Lordy, whoever it is, or in that circulation department, is killing the Toronto Star. No wonder you're offering 50%. Tomorrow I get another promotion, 100% off, kill the Toronto Star, because the, 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 the soldiers in the trenches are, are losing the war. You got it. Fight. So I said, Lordy, I think that's her name. I said, Lordia, I would like to speak to your supervisor. And you hear the recording, because I wasn't screaming like this. I was very pleasant, because I, I was so uh, funny. It was so cockamamie. How can I not laugh about it? That's why I'm doing this blog. I said, Lordia, I'd like to speak to your supervisor. Now, here's what I should have heard from Lordia. Okay, hold on. I'll get you my supervisor. Or I might have heard, I'm sorry, my supervisor's not working today. Here's what I heard. I'm the only one running this department. I'm the team leader. There's nobody else. <laughs> That's what I heard. I said, Lordy, there's nobody else. You run the... I'm the only one that runs it. I said, you don't have a supervisor? I don't have a supervisor. It's only me. I said, when I call back on Monday and I ask for Lordy a supervisor, that's all I'm going to tell you. Lordy, that's it. <laughs> I said, Lordy, I, I want to talk to John. Could, uh, uh, John, the, I said, you know the publisher, John, the publisher, John Cruz, Cruz, John. Said, yes, I know the publisher. I said, if I talk to John, I said, do you publish the paper or does John publish the paper? That's what I asked her. I said, well, I, you can call whoever you want. I'm the other one that runs it. And I can only give you the 50% off deal when you don't buy the paper for three months. Don't sign up for three months. You don't give them any, a penny to the newspaper for three months. Then I can give you the 50% or I can give you a 30% offer right now. I said, why would I take 30% when I came up with 40%? John, I'm telling you, the whole... Toronto Star is so cockamamie, you got to get down into that delivery department because when a customer was a customer every day and I had 40%, originally I had 40, 50 and then I took the 40 because I wanted the paper like a schmuck and then it finished on November 17th. They told me, I don't remember, I, I, I was lucky enough to call before it finished and I said, don't bill me 100% like you normally do. And then I get all these emails. We want you back. You want you back. I, I, I didn't go. go. On, on the weekends, I don't go near my computer, except right now. So I didn't go to search for the, the emails of the computer. On, and I, I didn't search for the emails, which is the promotion. This was easy. It was in the paper. I got it. And then this one, a, a week or two weeks later, but I got it. I was kind of around with me. Now I'm going to throw them away. I'm going to throw them away. And I'm going to get the Globe and Mail. I'm going to get a subscription to the National Post. I'm going to get a subscription. Three newspapers. I'm very learned. 
three New York Times, Wall Street Journal, National Post, Globe and Mail. I'm going to get a, a subscription, and I'm going to I'm going to pay the hundred percent rate for all of them. <laughs> no, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but John, I got to tell you what's going on here. In fact, make me put me in that department. I'll, 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 I'll get when a customer calls. I want the paper. Sure, take it. How much do you want to pay? Whatever they want. I'm, I'm going to I'm going to build up the Toronto store. It doesn't make any sense. You're the CEO of the show this blog to the board of directors of Toronto Star. A customer was a customer of the Toronto Star for months, three, four, five, six months, however long I was. They're billing my credit card every month. Then the promotion ends. I call the star before they start billing me the regular rate without telling me. Because that's what Joe Francis does. The girl's going wild. They keep billing you after. This girl's going wild. Joe Francis runs the Toronto Star. So uh, I cancel. I said, all right, the promotion's over. Before you, you start billing me 100%. Ha, 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 ha. I got you. Cancel the paper. Don't bill me the 100%. Great. Then I get emails. We want you back. We miss you. We love you. Got to have you. I don't call back. Then I call back. I get this promotion. All right, I'll come back. Sorry, we're not taking you back. <laughs> we're not taking you back at 50%. That's for somebody else that never had the paper. For you, that's been a great customer for five months, six months, 12 years. We're not taking you back. Go to davestvdeals.com. Davestvdeals.com. That's where I'll always take you back. That's where all the cash is. That's where the empire is. If you like to make cash, lots of cash. John, and this is for you too, John. If you'd like to make lots of cash, go to DavesTVDeals.com. Anything you do online, we do on TV. And John, I got to put this on TV. It's so cuckamamie, it's so crazy. It's, I like to read the Toronto Star, but I, I can't get the 50% off. John, what if I send a subscription to your house? <laughs> How's this? I'll give him your address, and then every morning I'll come to your house and pick up the paper. Go to DavesTVDeals.com. What, what percentage do you get off? Goodbye. <laughs> I'm just still rolling. Jesus Christ.